digestion and the role of microbes. Look at the picture given and read. Why Tina is crying? She is crying because of toothache. Now answer me. Do you brush your teeth daily? How many times in a day do you brush your teeth? Children, teeth are an important part of our body and we should take proper care of them. Let us learn more about our teeth. Teeth are present inside our mouth and they help in biting and chewing. Human beings have two sets of teeth, temporary and permanent set. By the time a child is two and a half years old, the first set of twenty teeth appears. This set of teeth in a child is called temporary teeth. They are also called milk teeth. When a child is about six years old, milk teeth start falling out one by one. Slowly, new ones, which are bigger in size, take their place. This set of new teeth is called permanent teeth. Teeth are mainly needed to bite and chew the food. According to their function, teeth are of four types. Let us learn one by one. First is incisors. There are eight incisors in all, four in each jaw. They are used for cutting and biting food. Canines. There are four canines in all. Two in each jaw. We have one canine on both sides of the incisors. Canines are sharp and are used for tearing food. In flesh eating animals, canines are bigger and sharper so that tearing flesh is easier. Premolars. There are eight premolars in all, four in each jaw. These are broad teeth, next to the canines. Premolars help to crush food and chew it. Molars There are 12 molars in all. They are bigger and flatter than the premolars, with a broader upper surface to chew and grind the food well. Out of the 12 molars, 8 grow first, 2 on each side of the premolars. 4 more molars grow later. Plant-eating animals have well-developed premolars and molars, because they need to chew and grind their food a lot. Parts of a tooth A tooth has a crown and a root. The crown is the part we see, whereas the root is the part inside the gums. Gums hold the teeth in their places. The white part of the outside of a tooth is called the enamel. It is the hardest substance in the human body. Below the enamel lies the hard dentine. Inside the dentin lies the pulp. It is very soft and full of nerves and blood vessels. The pulp forms the central part of the tooth. Care of teeth Proper care of teeth is very important. When we eat, Tiny bits of food get stuck in spaces between our teeth. We need to clean them out, otherwise germs can grow there and form a sticky yellow layer called plaque. Proper brushing with a toothbrush, toothpaste, and water can prevent plaque formation. Now let us see the ways to protect our teeth. Brush your teeth at least twice a day. Once in the morning and once before going to bed. Use up and down motion to brush teeth. Brush the top teeth downwards and the bottom teeth upwards. Brush out the back of the teeth. Brush the flat surface of the premolars and molars. Use a tongue cleaner to clean the tongue. Rinse your mouth well after meals. Eat a food that is healthy for teeth and gums. Example, milk, curd, eggs and green vegetables. 
avoid eating too many sweets, sugary snacks, or soft drinks. Visit the dentist regularly for checkups. Calcium is very important for strong teeth. Milk and milk products such as curd and cheese are rich in sources of calcium. Eating fruits and salads help in keeping our teeth healthy. The digestive system. The food that we eat is broken down into simpler forms. These simpler forms of food give energy that can be used by our body. The process by which food is broken down into a simpler form so that it can be easily taken in or absorbed by the body is called digestion. There are various organs that work together and help in digestion. These organs together form a digestive system. Process of Digestion The given picture explains the process of digestion. Mouth The process of digestion starts in the mouth. Here, food is broken down by biting and chewing. This chewed food mixes with a liquid called saliva which helps in digestion. Food pipe or esophagus Food passes from mouth through this thin long tube called the food pipe and reaches the stomach. Stomach It is a sac-like organ where food is broken down further, small intestine. Food from the stomach passes into the small intestine. Here all the useful nutrients are absorbed by the blood and taken to all parts of the body. Liver It produces juices that play an important role in the digestion of food. Large intestine It holds the food that cannot be digested, absorbs water from it, and forms wastes called feces. Anus Feces are removed from the body through the anus. Microbes Microbes are very small living things that cannot be seen with the naked eye. They can be seen only with the help of an instrument called a microscope. Microbes are of four main types. Virus, Bacteria, Fungi and Protozoa Microbes can be harmful or useful to human beings. Some microbes are used in making bread and bun. Some microbes change milk into curd. Some microbes help in the digestion of food. Harmful microbes are called germs. They can cause diseases. Some of the diseases caused by microbes are Viruses cause diseases such as common cold, influenza and polio. Bacteria cause diseases such as typhoid, tuberculosis, and cholera. Fungi causes ringworm and athlete's foot and protozoa can cause food poisoning, dysentery and malaria. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.